The TAIT-129, ATAK, is a Turkish attack helicopter project aimed at supplying the Turkish army with a modern battlefield performer to complement its existing armored and mechanized forces. The aircraft is based on the successful Italian Augusta Westland AW-129 Mangusta, Mongoose, serving with the Italian army. Despite the obvious ties to the Italian concern and its AW-129 design, the T-129 program is largely an indigenous Turkish endeavor headed up by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, with Augusta Westland being retained as the prime contractor, Augusta Westland designates the T-129 as the AW-729. Aselsan, developer of Turkish military communications and electronics systems, is also on board as a participating project contributor. First flight of the T-129 was recorded on September 28, 2009 with development and flight testing ongoing as of this writing. 2012. It is expected that the helicopter will achieve operational service sometime in 2013 barring any unforeseen delays. The engines will be locally produced under license as well. The end product will also be offered up for export as TAI will hold the rights to the finalized T-129 design. Saudi Arabia is a possible future customer of the T-129 despite their stock of American Hughes AH-64 Apache attack systems already in place, the Apache holds origins dating back to the 1970s. Several other nations have indicated their interest in acquiring the TAI product and up to three prototypes have been completed to date, 2012. Unable to generate much foreign interest for its new attack helicopter requirement, Turkish authorities inked an arrangement with the Italian concern of Augusta Westland to produce an evolved form of its Augusta A129 Mangusta International variant that introduced several notable and beneficial changes. The original A129 first flew in September of 1983 and was entering frontline service with the Italian army by the end of the decade. The design marked a milestone in European aviation as it became the first wholly European attack helicopter to be completed and accepted for operational service. The type has since soldiered on through a approximately 60 examples delivered, and the helicopter has taken part in several UN-related peacekeeping missions including action in Afghanistan following the fall of the Taliban after 9-11. A few varied forms of the A-129 eventually emerged and among these was the A-129 International. This variant introduced a new five-bladed main rotor assembly as well as the M-197 Gatling-type cannon coupled to a chin turret. Ltech T-800 series engines were installed and avionics were modernized to compensate for the ever-changing nature of the battlefield. Support for the American Hellfire ATGM and Stinger SAM missile systems was also brought to fruition. In September of 2007, the deal between Turkey and Augusta was finalized to bring the army an evolved form of the Italian product to be developed and produced in Turkey utilizing various locally designed systems and subsystems in accordance with Turkish army needs. The program would fall under the local designation of ATAK for obvious reasons. Once in service, the T-129 is expected to be utilized in typical attack helicopter roles anti-armor sorties, armed reconnaissance slash patrol, seek and destroy and close air support for accompanying ground forces. Due to the nature of its combat role, low altitude with possible ground fire exposure, the T-129 will be armored at her critical areas, reveal a low radar signature and sport increased crew survivability through its inherently crashworthy design. Mission turnaround times and logistical requirements will be designed with minimal effort to help keep crew and aircraft armed and flying during times of war even when operating far from forward bases. Outwardly, the T-129 will showcase many of the sharp clean lines of the original Augusta Westland product. The major physical defining feature of the T-129 will be its five-bladed main rotor over that of the four-bladed type utilized in the AW-129 Mangusta design. The pilots will sit in a stepped, tandem cockpit arrangement with the primary pilot in the rear cockpit and the weapon systems officer, WSO, in the front cockpit, an arrangement common to many attack helicopters today. The fuselage, therefore, is allowed a very thin forward-slash-rear profile with the engine nacelles straddling either side of the upper fuselage. At the extreme front end of the fuselage is the chin turret that works in conjunction with the nose-mounted optics turret mounted just above and tied to the pilot's helmet-mounted display systems, HMDS. The rear pilot benefits from the raised position while both pilots enjoy relatively unfettered views from the lightly framed cockpit. The impenage is set low in the design and houses the shaft utilized to run the tail rotor assembly which is set to the port side of the aircraft in a conventional fashion atop the vertical tail fin. A pair of horizontal tailplanes are affixed well below this vertical fin. The undercarriage is static in its design and made up of two single-wheeled main landing gear legs along the forward sides of the fuselage with a single-wheeled tail leg under the vertical tail fin. Weapons will be stored externally across wing stubs emanating from either side of the fuselage. In all, the T-129 will showcase much of the same qualities inherent in other dedicated attack helicopter designs of the world.